And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Aurelia's Fortune. So finally we're going to be playing Miss Fortune with Aurelia. First day we played Azir with Aurelia. Deck looked really good. Second day we played Quinn with Aurelia. Deck didn't look so good. Now we're going to be trying out Miss Fortune. Because the problem, like the reason why uh, the first one looked good, the second one didn't, is because... Um, so like Aurelia gives you all these, and like playing Aurelia, like we're going to be having these blade dances, right? So we're going to have the extra attacks with the blades. Now with Quinn, it just leveled up Quinn, but you didn't get any bonus for actually like attacking with the blades. Like they were still just like little one ones attacking. That was kind of the problem there. But with Azir, of course, you get all the sand soldiers that also attack alongside with them. So you get the different bonus there. And then plus when you have your leveled up Azir, you make those one ones bigger. So you get the bonus for attacking. Misfortune, we get the bonus for attacking again. Because every time we have our allies attack, we get this one damage, uh, you know, to the Nexus and, and to their battling enemies and stuff. So we do get the bonus for attacking here. So I'm hoping the Misfortune works pretty well with Aurelia also. Um, the other thing that we got going on with Bilgewater is we have Jagged Taskmaster. So this is a way to make the blades uh, get plus one, plus zero everywhere. And just any other one cost ally that we have. Um, so the Taskmaster is going to be kind of be, it's kind of like our leveled up Azir here. So we got that. Um, but we're going to have Crackshot Corsair and Dance, Dancing Droplet for our one drops, with Droplet being an elusive body. So it's going to be uh, easy to attack with an elusive to, to help out Misfortune. We'll have two Conspirators to help pick up Droplet and just like any of these other things, the Blade Dance and stuff like that. Um, and then, of course, Retreat Returns, doing some protection. And then the Return part is going to be nice, being able to put the three cost champions into play with return or even shadow assassin into play with return or we're also playing one boxtopus so boxtopus is going to give us just a little bit of removal like if our opponent has like a champion we got to kill boxtopus can help with that especially with uh, misfortune's ability it's pretty nice but then also boxtopus is a really good card to put into play with return because whenever you summon it with return you don't have this play ability so it's just going to be a three four challenger so that could be pretty cool with retreat return that could be a nice little uh card there um and then at our top end we're gonna have island navigator with a scout to help misfortune attack multiple times we're gonna have two playful tricksters that allow us to rally um that you know we can uh they can help us out like this the this is really going to be nice with playful trickster when it's a turn that we don't have the attack token our opponent does and we play a blade dance card um you know like ribbon dancer or whatever and so then we get we get our blade dances in, and then we also playful trickster a blade dance. So then now we gain the attack token with the rally, and so then we can do our like island navigator attacks and get two scout attacks and stuff like that. Um, and you know that that kind of stuff could be really awesome. But we're gonna try this all out. So here we go, Aurelia's fortune. Let's see how it does. We'll go play five games in ranked with Aurelia. Ooh, playing against deep. Attacking a lot of rounds, you know, like doing a whole bunch of attacks can be good against deep. So we want... We definitely want Misfortune. I could see keeping Homecoming. But I'm going to mulligan, see what else we get. Alright, so this is what we got. And it's okay if we don't spend our mana the first couple of turns, because I can save it for Retreat Return anyway. Um, or I can challenge that thing. That thing is annoying. I kind of want to kill it. So save mana for Retreat and Lead and Follow, or get this box bus in play to try to kill that thing. Should have saved spell mana. So that was the play. Double vile feast. Yuck. Dangerous water. <laughs> All right, now that's a little bit of a high roll. <clears throat> Having island navigator hit that, but. 
Yeah, that was that was pretty bad with my misfortune. You know, I guess just the safe play was just not attacking with the misfortune. Um, I just wasn't expecting a second vile feast, and that then I was gonna have mana to protect misfortune after that. Why would a one one not block here? Whenever I return this, it won't have scout anymore. Man, they just really don't want to play anything. Let's get crew. Quietly now. This is our way. They were on the trick. Got us covered. Be gone, thief. Shouldn't have risked my misfortune. Love the Jag Taskmaster. Then more sea scarabs. So unfortunately, I don't get to play full trickster with that, with using this deny here. I was hoping they would just block, I'd use playful trickster. I am going to play Jagger Taskmaster, though. Eight mana, so that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I need nine mana. You defile the grove. Yeah, so like both of retreat like I want uh I wanna be able to have that Oh I guess oh because I get to I get to bounce the dance dancing droplet though, so I get a mana back for the dan dancing droplet, so I'm good there. Right, so we're good. So this is what this puts him down to two. Okay, because then, because then we're gonna rally and be able to attack again, and so I can attack with my scout. And then, so we have that that attack. We're gonna rally for the scout attack, um, and then and then another normal attack with the scouts. But then also I was gonna be able to blade dance there with put, picking up the dancing droplets. That was gonna, so we're gonna have three other attacks that round. Um, plus, I was going to play that Jagged Taskmaster to buff those things up again. Azir with Noxus. Okay, Trickster gone. Dancing Droplet, we'll be able to block, and then we'll retreat it back to our hand. But this thing attacks for more. Turn one. Need a second. Okay, what do we got? The dark beckons. I really uh forever. Captain's orders, pull it to the face. Not done 
Oh no. That's a problem. Yeah, I don't know why they attack like that. Ah. Much rather retreat return, of course, to be able to put Aurelia into play. That means I have to take four, da four extra damage. Just sets me up so much better. I can still, you know, do the homecoming stuff next round. Just sets me up so much better. This is not an easy deck to sequence. So my, my two options are like attack here to deal damage to their nexus and then uh, go Taskmaster, Taskmaster, and then Duet. Or I just do the Duet first and then do Taskmaster, Taskmaster. Then I get to attack with the Taskmasters. I think I do this. I guess this play isn't as good for leveling up Aurelia. That's a very surprising block. I was kind of expecting fervor after that block. Hey, Fat Pandras. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. The sea beasts will bear us. Uh, may may this was the wrong order. Maybe I should because if I would if I go the duet first, I just attack with the two one ones, and they don't really do anything, and they could they easily block the two one ones. But then I get more attacks with other stuff. Don't have decimate. Because of fervor, I'm not playing homecoming until there's a fervor, of course. That's it. That's game. I wonder if they had Decimate in hand and they could have just played Decimate but decided to attack first. Because if that's the case, that was not a good decision. Our home, our ancestors are safe once more. Okay. More aggro. Well, it's not really exactly aggro. Okay, this... I love syncopation for this matchup, but we kind of need some threats, don't we? We probably want to find recall cards anyway. I guess I don't need two dancing droplets. All right, let's let's go with this. I'm gonna keep deny for tribeam. Misfortune. I can see them using like a thermogenic beam on this though. Pick no good. Recall card? No. I'm gonna just save spell mana. It's kind of better to blade dance after a misfortunes and play anyway. Yes, there we go. Time for the main event. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Yeah, not that. Hmm. 
I'm about to play Island Navigator. Then I don't have Deny to protect Misfortune. I have Retreat Return, but that doesn't really protect Misfortune. Yeah, I mean, I guess it does. All right. The ocean charts our course. So it feels like they're trying to, like they're turning on Ravenous Flock, right? Just wondering whether I should like retreat, return right now before Flock. This is not an easy deck to sequence. Yeah, I'm, I'm scared of double flock, yeah, <laughs> basically. Or, you know, when, when Misfortune has two health, uh, then they could have Mystic Shot plus flock. You know, they could still have Mystic Shot plus flock, though, I guess. It's really the double flock. Always forward. I mean, I guess I make that trade. Is it double flock? <laughs> I think it's not a winning battle to, to deny that and try to stop double flock because it's just so easy to turn on flock. I think I got to just hope it's just single flock. Pass. Yes. Okay, good. Just single flock. Time to start over for Misfortune. I could also return Irelia into play and then get a flawless duet and then also have the quick attack. Yeah, I guess Irelia is doing more for me. Easier to attack with Irelia. This is gonna hurt for you. Yeah, I could have gone homecoming to return Draven, but then I don't get another champion in play. What did they just discard? Ballistic Bot? And then Ezreal? I mean, that sounds great with me. It's good they use that now, and not whenever I'm blade dancing.
Boo. I guess we may not be blade dancing. But they only have two cards that are not spinning axe. That's not many cards that are not spinning axe. I don't think I just I just don't think I let him play another blocker. I know I can crack shot Corsair, but I just don't think I let him play another blocker. Make them block with these things. You're between me and glory. So much card draw. Some treasure MVP. Some treasure MVP. Um, they've used two Mystic Shots so far. Oh, Blade Dance is slow also. So that's their third Mystic Shot. None of them were Ezreal Mystic Shots. Canby, thank you so much. Let me turn that down a little bit. Thank you, Canby. Second month with that resub. All is well. I'm and thank you so much for that support. I appreciate that. All right, that's our first sub of the day. If they have no removal, we win. We just need that to be unit, unit over there. Just two units, please. Two more house spiders. Uh, that card, unfortunately, is a unit that kills me. Oh, no, no, because that's only four. Oh, no, but then the Aurelia, the, or sorry, the Ezreal. The Ezreal kills me, so yeah, I don't think there's any way. Yep, Ezreal wins. Alright, two and one. Real close. Real, real close. Whenever our retreat return with both the champions, if I would have put Misfortune in play instead of the 3 2, would we have won? I don't know. Thresh Nessus. I'm really hoping no, like, Black Spears or Thresh. Right, like, I basically just don't want them to be able to kill my Misfortune. So, like, that's, that's the hope, is that they can't really kill Misfortune. And hopefully, we draw a one drop. Cool. So, help turn on Jagged Taskmaster. plan for these taskmasters this is a one where we need the attack token on turn two and turn four Please. The strong don't want mercy. 
Yeah, I really need the attack token on turn two, turn four, right? Like, we could have attacked with this. And then play Taskmaster. No prey, no pay. So next round, I can go Ribbon Dancer and Blade Dance and then Taskmaster. I deal two damage to misfortunes, then it dies too. And no, I just can't do that. The dark closes in. Need one more mana. Feel the triple spell. The Ribbon Dancer, Taskmaster, Task Taskmaster, and have protection. I don't know what they got over there, but hopefully it's not nothing good. Hopefully it's three Nasus and two Atrocity. Just have a full full house, Nasus and Atrocity. Nope, not that. I really like the deny draw. That's a good one. Because, like, Thrash is, like, their best card to play, but that's honestly not bad for us. Even if they do play Thrash. That's not really a problem. I think we're going to 3-1. and one. Oh, well, here we go. All these nice little combat spells. Okay, so we're going to have leveled up Misfortune. This is not definitely a win. Yeah, it's definitely not. It's not definitely a win. Difficult for them to block. Getting bullet time in here. You. Yes, you do. All right, they're taking the seven. Boys, we are wow. All right, it was definitely a good turn for them with the five mana. Because they had no, no good blockers before with the five mana, and now they put four... Yeah, like for five mana, they put like a four one, a four three, a four three, a three two, and a two two, all into play, right? Killing like the the one ones that can't block that didn't matter. They put all all five of those things into play for five mana. That's strong. Yeah, homecoming the spirit leech just because it costs you know a lot of mana. Yeah, giving them draw, but it costs a lot of mana. Done. 
man, <laughs> I, I guess I lose. I was so overconfident that, that I thought they were going to win. And I just lost. Misfortune, why don't you have Overwhelm anymore? Well, I guess I just have to do this. Okay, never mind. I guess we get the... Okay, so we get the Elusive with the 3 damage. Okay. So we can still do it. And then we'll have Deny available. For protection. Seven mana, they could be trying atrocity, and I deny that. Okay, didn't have atrocity. All right, so I did win. <laughs> oh man, that was looking bad there for a second. That's how we do things in Bilgewater. All right, same matchup. That one went very well of like having misfortune, and they couldn't kill misfortune. I'm not sure it's going to go that well again those two things so I don't know if I can just keep three three four so I kind of want to mulligan Irelia and have misfortune blossoming blade I can't even have that either because yeah. just if we just draw like you know one or two more four mana cards it's going to be a real awkward hand Save spell mana. See what we see, soldier. I don't really have good options. That's a terrible attack. Too late for you. Do people just not know how this card works? <laughs> We've been running into a lot of these people today. They've just been putting in this Reaper at the front. Like, we're blocking units behind Reaper. Like, what are they doing? So I'd rather play Island Navigator this round, but I think that I have to play the Blossoming Blakes. The Blossoming Blade blocks the Reaper. Or maybe I just don't even block Reaper. Maybe it's fine. I'm basically setting up, like, where I can have, like, Misfortune and then, like, attack a whole bunch. My opponent's not passing. They're attacking. Yeah, my opponent's not. They're not gonna pass. If they can't even play. If they can't do Reaper right, they're attacking. So this, you know, plenty of times before. This is not an easy deck to. It's a, it's a very good blocker. Not a very easy deck to navigate. When rhythm takes hold, there is no time for fear. Wow. What a killer. Trying to decide if I want Make It Rain or Lead and Follow. I guess I want Lead and Follow, I guess. I don't know. I kind of want Make It Rain. I don't know. Okay. 
This went very well for them. Always forward. That's Captain Fortune. Okay, we got rid of a thrash. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I really still only at 8 out of 12, even though we just attacked like 4 times that round. Playing 3 2 to block this thing. Don't want to use Homecoming quite yet. Everyone's a garden. Alright, so now we can use Homecoming. So, challenge, challenge. Will we Homecoming bounce to 12 2? They still have that. Um, oh, I can't play Misfortune. I guess I can't play anything else. So, I guess we go to 1. Yeah, I guess we're down to 1. Next round we have eight mana. Let's save spell mana. If they have no removal, we we win, right? Like if they don't have any removal spells or you know like no atrocity, no black spear, nothing like that. No prey, no pay. Less is more shine. And I'll also play Taskmaster and Aurelia and get the flawless duet. Give them a chance. Like we get three attacks this round. They're just three misfortune abilities, they're dead. But they did have atrocity. That's too bad. Looks like Bloody Caretaker plus Atrocity still wins games. Just got to a little bit too low of a life total there. That that uh, that game, they were just a little too aggressive. Um, you know, I I played the slower game to set up everything. You know, to to get misfortune set up, and had you know like a crazy turn five, turn six. I guess it was like really turn six. I guess. Um, no, I think it was turn five. Yeah, crazy turn five. Um, yeah, it's turn five. But we just took a little bit too much damage. They were a little too aggressive with their four ones and everything, but close game. So I think I liked this version. Definitely, I liked this a whole lot more than the Quinn. Um, is it better than Azir? I don't know. I think it's it's very on par with the Azir version. Maybe from just kind of playing the games out, it did kind of feel like maybe we don't need the playful trickster, and that you know just having a couple more interaction cards would be better than having the playful trickster. You know, like maybe another lead and follow or. Um, you know something it'd be nice to have some yeah so maybe, maybe like just a couple more cheaper spells like that um maybe even a couple of notifies i don't know maybe another deny i don't know you know like there's there's a lot of like okay ish spells that you can play but you know you know that aren't necessarily amazing maybe even a couple sonic waves um be able to help give you some more removal maybe just a couple more of the box to i did like the box to i thought that was kind of cool so maybe just a couple more of those instead of these playful tricksters but i think the playful tricksters can go rush is an option yeah i don't know there's so there's like some mediocre options none of the, none of those cards are like amazing uh, maybe it's playing i don't know spirits refuge or even concussive palm that can kind of slow the opponent down and give you a blocker 
um, and give you another card to bounce. I don't know, not not any options that I absolutely love, but I, I think that the Playful Trickster could probably be upgraded. But besides that, I was very happy with everything else. Um, we didn't, you know, we only had the one syncopation. We only had the one game where we had it and it didn't matter. So, you know, uh, we weren't going wide enough for it. It kind of felt like some, but I, I think I like it though. I think I like the, that one syncopation. Um, I'm glad we only had two conspirators. They weren't necessarily that great. Obviously we had the one that, that won us the, the game on game four with it, but just overall it felt a little clunky. So I'm glad we only had two instead of three. Um, so I'm glad we had the, the first uh, box to put in instead of that. But yeah, pretty awesome deck here. Pretty awesome deck. I think, you know, it can use a little bit of tuning still. You know, like I said, like those those two playful tricksters for maybe something else and just, you know, a little bit of tuning around the edges. Um you know, that takes time for just more practice games and everything like that. But this definitely felt real, and uh, Misfortune with the Blades felt really powerful. All right, so that's going to be Aurelius Fortune. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And, of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. And, um, you know, if you got other ideas for it, if you got other ideas for the Playful Trickster slot, um, yeah, I would love, I'd love to hear it. So let me know uh, what you think um, about the deck. All right, but that's going to be it here for Aurelius Fortune. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.